we start with Josh Basna. I would like to be baptized because I want to have a clean, Christian-filled heart and have God as my best friend. I've been at church for my whole life, and I think it's time to be baptized. I want to give my whole heart to Jesus so I can say that I am a full-blooded Christian. All right, Josh. Josh, have you asked Jesus to come into your life? Yes. Are you ready to live your whole life for him? Yes. All right. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lexi Sackman. I want to get baptized today because I love Jesus. I'm very thankful for a lot of people at this church, like Pastor Crystal, Pastor Ken, and Pastor Phil, because they teach me a lot of things I need to know for life. I want to follow Jesus all of my life and walk in his ways too. When I come up from the water, I know I'll be a new person. I know there are a lot of people out there who are watching me right now, but it makes me happy that they know I've accepted Jesus and love him. Lexi, um, we know, but I'll ask you anyway. Do you have Jesus in your life? Are you ready to live your whole life for him? Yeah. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spencer LaPointe. My name is Spencer LaPointe, and I am getting baptized today to better serve Jesus and God. Spencer, do you have Jesus in your life? All right. Are you ready to live your whole life for Jesus? Okay. Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brooke McMurray, I want to be baptized because I know Jesus died for my sins. I've been going to church since I was five days old. I love Jesus with my heart, and I want everyone to know it. Brooke, have you asked Jesus to come into your life? Are you ready to live your whole life for him? Then we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. freedom and liberation from the past. Today, my baptism symbolizes a victory in Jesus. Today, Easter Sunday, is a victorious day for me and every other believer. Nearly 20 years have passed since the day of my salvation. Jesus rescued me when I turned eight years old. And for a while now, the Holy Spirit has prompted me and urged me to be baptized. My heart sings and rejoices because that day has finally arrived. This morning, there are two passages of scripture that are close to my heart. I would like to share them with you, and they are as follows. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Ephesians 2, verses 4 through 10 But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. In closing, there is a song that best describes what this day means to me. It's by Phillips Craig and Dean, entitled Top of My Lungs. The chorus says, at the top of my lungs, I will sing hallelujah. You are the one who saved me, the one who gave me this life. I live forevermore. 
At the top of my lungs, I will sing hallelujah. I am not ashamed. I'll praise your name. Let the whole world know, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I am thankful that this day has come. It is truly a victorious day in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ is your Savior. And to live your life for him in the body of Christ. We baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Chelsea Brown. I was introduced.